Hello students, welcome back to your channel Rosie Maths Class. In this video, we are going to discuss what all you are going to learn in chapter number 1, Patterns in Mathematics. This is for class 6 from new NCRT textbook, Ganit Prakash. The chapter starts with 1.1, what is mathematics? Here you will learn how mathematics is the search for patterns and the explanations as to why those patterns exist. We see patterns everywhere around us like the motion of the sun, the moon and the stars and whatever activities we do, even in that we see patterns, weather patterns, technology also uses some kind of patterns, in your genome you have some pattern. So all this you will learn in 1.1. So this is basically you just need to read it and relate it to the real life. Moving on to 1.2, patterns in numbers. So here you will learn about 10 different number sequences. So you will start with all ones, then counting numbers, odd numbers, even numbers, triangular numbers, squares, cubes, viranka numbers, powers of 2 and powers of 3. So these are the 10 patterns, 10 number sequences given in the form of a table that you would learn. Also, you should know what is number theory. Number theory is the branch of mathematics that studies patterns in whole numbers. Whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, the branch of mathematics that studies patterns in whole numbers is called number theory. And the 10 different number sequences, you should know how to write the number sequences and you should be able to identify them if the sequence is given to you. 1.3 is visualizing number sequences. So the 10 sequences, the 10 number sequences that you would learn in 1.2, out of that, 7 number sequences are given in the form of pictures. Pictures as in pictorial representation in the form of dots or cubes. So all ones, counting numbers, odd numbers, even numbers, triangular numbers and squares. These are given in the form of pictorial representation using dots. To represent cubes, you have to use small cubes. Okay, this is all about 1.3 where you have the pictorial representation of the number sequences. Also, you will learn about hexagonal numbers in this subtopic. Next subtopic is 1.4 relations among number sequences. So, here you will try to find out what is the relation between two different number sequences? For example, what is the relation between odd numbers and square numbers? What happens when we start adding up odd numbers? So you will see that when we start adding up odd numbers, we get square numbers. Similarly, when you start adding the counting numbers up and down, again you will get square numbers. So you will study about the relations among the number sequences. The next subtopic is 1.5 patterns in shapes. The branch of mathematics that studies patterns in shapes is called geometry. The branch of mathematics that studies patterns in shapes is called geometry. So we have shapes in one, two or three dimensions. So shape sequences are very important type of shape pattern that mathematicians study. So you will have a table where you will learn the different shape sequences. The first sequence is of regular polygons. So you must know what is a polygon and what is the meaning of regular. So regular means that these shapes, they have equal length sides and also equal angles. So side length is equal and angle measure is also equal. That's why they are called regular. And polygon is like it is made up of line segment, only line segment. So you should know the meaning of these two terms. That is the first shape sequence. Then you have complete graphs. Next one, stacked squares. Next, stacked triangles. And the last one is coach snowflake. So I would suggest that you draw these shapes in your notebook so that you get a good practice of how to draw these shape sequences because there is a question in figure it out where you need to redraw each of these sequence and then again you need to draw the next shape in the sequence. So do practice these shape sequences. 
and the last part of this chapter is 1.6 relation to number sequences so here we are going to relate the number sequences and the shape sequences this is a very small topic if you just read it once then you will understand what is there so basically it's just relating the number sequence and the shape sequence and then there are five questions given in figure it out so this is all about chapter number 1 where you will learn about the different number sequence relation between the number sequences shape sequences relation between the shape and number sequences and it is a very interesting chapter i'm sure you would learn many new things in this chapter and with this we come to the end of this video in the next video i shall tell you what all you need to learn for chapter number 2 thank you